Yeah? All right, one last game. Every single January, 70,000 of the world's toy makers descend on this town for the world's biggest toy fair. But I'm not just here to play around. We've teamed up with the Digital Hub Initiative to explore the startup cities of Germany, from Munich's mobility to Potsdam's MediaTek. And in this episode, I'm checking out the twin city hub of digital health, Nuremberg and Erlangen. Based in the Franconian region of Bavaria, these two cities have a strong bond, and that's the FAU University of Nuremberg and Erlangen, which has campuses spread across both cities. The main campus is in Erlangen, which is the smaller of the two cities, home to half the 40,000 students with a strong focus on medicine and digital health, many of which graduate to work for Siemens Health and Ears, which employs 20,000 people in the region. But what is digital health? It's any technology that improves the efficiency of health diagnosis, delivery, and care, making medicine more personalized and precise. The Digital Hub lists three partner initiatives here, one of which is Medical Valley, which is connected to over 500 companies, 80 university research institutions, and 65 hospitals. Why should a startup move to Medical Valley? Well, super easy. First of all, in terms of digital health, we have the data. Why? We have more than 65 clinics here. We have a huge environment for universities, big companies like Siemens, Novartis, Nürnberg um, Insurance Company that will give you access to the healthcare market. A lot of healthcare experts that will give you insights in the healthcare market and help you validate your ideas, and give insights to your business model and just shape it until you make it. <laughs> I love that sign off. <laughs> Shape it till you make it. <laughs> An international startup called Mindpacks, which is helping people suffering from depression, schizophrenia, and bipolar disorders, has chosen to be based out of Erlangen. Why did you decide to be based uh, out of Erlangen and specifically Medical Valley? Yeah, there are two reasons. Uh, one is that uh, we have a very good access to the key opinion leaders from here. And the second reason is we are getting an extremely valuable support from all the Medical Valley uh, people, including the market access consulting or understanding to the health insurance market in, in Germany. And it works perfectly, so I'm very happy that we have done this move. The second partner hub is also based in Arlangen, called Health Hackers, which, by the looks of it, is like a boutique hotel. Chris, tell me a little bit uh, about what are you guys trying to do here? First of all, of course we think an outcome. We really want to help patients with our technological skill and our curiosity. Uh, one indirect outcome, which is always important, is connecting people. Use the Health Hackers as a platform where people can test out projects free free of pressure. What's the long-term vision? Shape the future of healthcare, at least uh, help shaping it, and hope to be a little spice uh, in a world full of efficiency and KPIs. I think a little creative and little empathic use of technology is quite nice. For the third part of the Digital Health Hub, we just jump on the train for 13 minutes to Erlangen's twin city, Nuremberg. What do you guys do here? We are a tech incubator, so we work with uh, digital startups. And is it digital health focus, or what do you guys focus on? Well, not only, but uh, also IoT, blockchain, urban mobility, you name it. And in terms of the program itself, do I need to be based here? Well, of course, we do work with uh, startups that we incubate here at Zollhof, but we also, at the same time, work with startups uh, all over Germany. One of my digital health favorite startups is Cleanisurf, for example. Okay, where are they based? They are in Munich. Okay, let's go see how they enjoy the program. So we came in as a fellow startup um, and they gave us tailored support. So on the one hand, great mentors and on the other hand, connections to uh, companies and, and hospitals within the Medical Valley and also a lot of great PR in forms of uh, event participations, panels, um, pr pitch presentations. So you guys are based in Verkheimer Munich? Exactly. Which you can find out more of in our Munich episode. When it comes to livability, we'll start with Nuremberg, the larger of the two cities, five times larger in fact than Erlangen, was the first city in Germany to introduce a driverless underground line. And being the birthplace of the famous painter Albrecht Dürer and the sculpture family of Isha, this city has a rich history with art and sculpture. This one's a bit unique, I think. <laughs> Whilst Arlongen is known as the Green City, as it has over 77,000 square kilometers of open green space. 
And being on the smaller side isn't a disadvantage. It's created a natural community, the students on the one side and the healthcare industry on the other. They even have little unicorn sculptures here too. <sighs> How do you always win? Never mind. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to click the link above for the longer form interviews from our time in Nuremberg and Arlangen. I'll see you in the next city. Where do you want the money wired to?